now children and mostly university students are saying, you know, we don't have hope here in Sri Lanka. They say that, you know, we don't have a life here anymore. I don't see a future me staying here in Sri Lanka. So they are all planning on leaving our country and this is a disadvantage for our country, you know, because we are u losing human capital and also the knowledge we have here. And as you said, we have a lot of intelligent people here and we will be losing them because they will be planning on working abroad. So what can you say about that? I think uh, given the current economic crisis, it's, it's, it makes sense, right? Even me and even my, most of my friends have thought about leaving the country because we also want to do good for ourselves. We also want to live a comfortable life. And things and like thinking of the future is so uncertain here. But for Sri Lanka, in the perspective of Sri Lanka, it's, it's necessary that the educated or all the people who are able to go out, which will most likely be uh, people who are going to get hired abroad for high-skilled jobs are here because if there is a huge brain drain, we, we, we will be forced back into such a crisis like we are. Because to get out of this crisis, we will have to develop, create a, a high-value-add diversified manufacturing industry and a, a high-value-add service industry, right? For that, we need skilled labor. And if our skilled labor is pushed out within these few years while we try to stabilize the country, we won't be able to attract them back again. So the state will have to step in to ensure that these people don't leave the country and give certain opportunities for them, you know, create. So even though there is this high interest rate environment, maybe they can reduce the interest rates for certain industries to make sure that there are investments happen in those industries. So these high-skilled labor force can be retained back again in the country.